Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome to my Dragon Ball Super episode 39 review. And this has got to be by far the best episode of the series so far. Like, it is so fucking good. Um, honestly, like, there was just so much action in it. The animation was good. The art was good. Everything about it was just so perfect. So I'm just gonna get straight into it. And obviously, I'm a Goku fan, so this is definitely a go um, good episode for me. Um, so basically, he just um, transforms into a Super, Cell, um, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Saiyan. Oh my god, I can't even speak. He um, turns into a Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, um, straight off the bat. And uh, Goku, um, Piccolo actually says that Goku is an, a bit of an idiot for um, revealing to Heat what his strategy was. So they're like both throwing punches and kicks at each other. Like the animation art is just so good here. Um, Goku punches, um, hits in the face. He then goes on to say that because of Goku's ridiculous speed, his time um, leap technique won't affect him. Won't, well, I won't be able to keep up with Goku's speed, obviously. Um, he kicks, um, Kit actually goes in for a punch with his time leap technique. We actually get to see what it looks like from his point of view. And Goku just counts, counts, oh, oh god, sorry guys, I'm so excited. Um, he just counters it with a kick and he just basically goes flying. Um, what else happens? Um, Beerus says that, um, he, Beerus is like, oh, that's my Goku in the jokey way. And then Whis replies with, no, Goku's all mine. Um, Goku, um, he gets angry, starts powering up. Like, literally, like, if you haven't seen the episode yet, you have to watch it. The art and animation are just phenomenal here. So they're throwing punches, um, at each other. It seems pretty even now that he's actually powered up. And, um... Okay, Heat ha actually gets a really solid hit on Goku's chest slash ab, um, like abdominal area. And um, so he's actually on his knees now. So kind of like um, what he did to Vegeta where um, he like knocked him unconscious. But Goku's actually conscious here. He's struggling to get up. And Heat actually says that he has improved his time skip, um, time skip um, technique by zero, like, to 0 0.2 seconds. So instead of 0.1 seconds, it's now 0.2, which is actually a big advantage. I mean, it doesn't really seem like much, but when it comes to fighting, that is definitely a big advantage. And it, obviously, Goku does struggle to account for that. And holy shit, this is where shit gets real. We've heard that Goku um, obviously uses a new technique, and we actually could get that into a bit. Um, Goku gets back to his feet, and Heat actually gets Goku um, get back up because he helped. Um, Goku improve his technique. Vegeta seems pissed. Um, Goku keeps staring at his abdomen for some reason. Um, so Go um, he um, performs his timely technique again. And he's like beating the shit out of Goku. Um, Goku ends up um, obviously um, dropping to the ground again. He's not giving up. He gets back to his feet. Uh, before that, um, he does tell the referee to check on Goku, but he gets up. And this is where, holy shit, my heart was just racing. You can see Goku powering up. This is obviously he's going to use his new technique. The music here and everything was just so per perfect. I can't wait for, um, for them to dub this bit. It's going to be so fucking epic. So he fi finishes powering up and he actually loses his aura. And then he could just hear him say, Kaioken. And I was like, fuck me. I, I knew this was going to happen, but um, the Kai you can just see the Kaioken aura. It's just fucking amazing it's like it's ridiculous um basically the aura is like he keeps the blue aura but then he has a larger red aura which is awesome and he's like moving ridiculously fast around hits um and you, um, you can actually see vegeta speaking about it and there's a flashback to the saiyan arc he continues powering up and um thank um thanks to uh, Holmes for actually translating this he um actually says that um goku is using a times 10 kaioken so he punches um this bit was just fucking incredible, like the last few minutes. You can hear the um, opening music for Super in the background. He's like, punches um, Heat in the face. And he's just like absolutely destroying Heat, just throwing punches everywhere. He fires the Kamehameha, it, um, it hits, um, Heat actually hits the arena barrier. Obviously, he is on the receiving end of that Kamehameha. And it just ends there. Okay. Oh my god, fuck. And then, um, I don't really, okay, I'll talk about the episode preview in a minute, actually. Um, okay. This is going <laughs> to, to all the Vegeta fans out there, I'm sorry. Um, Vegeta actually says that Goku has surpassed him once again since he can't do the Kaioken. And that is actually one of the things that I said in one of my uh, most recent videos. I think it was the one where I talk about if he can beat Hit. And Goku actually says that he's been working on with Super... He's been working with Super Saiyan Blue and Kaioken so that he can fight with Beerus, apparently. So maybe Goku has the plans, or maybe Toriyama has plans for Goku to fight Beerus in the future. Which would be epic again. Using the Kaioken in combination with Super Saiyan Blue or Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan actually gives him a pretty good chance of beating Beerus. Because we all know how powerful the Kaioken is. It essentially multiplies your power by a really great amount. So, to the episode preview, I didn't really get too much of it to be honest. I was <laughs> just way too fucking excited. But definitely go check out the preview um, over on YouTube. I'm sure someone's uploaded it by now. 
but from what I can tell, um, at one point in the um, in the what the fuck in the ep uh, episode preview, Beerus and Chomp actually seem pissed, and uh, the fight actually continues. I thought it actually ended um, at the um, like in this episode, but it seems to continue for the first part of the next episode, and then hopefully. We will see what happens from there, and I'm super excited to see what happens on, on like my heart is just racing. But yeah, definitely check this episode out, episode out, especially when it's sold, so you can obviously get a more accurate translation of what um, actually went down. But yeah, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Kai Ken. There will probably be a bunch of like pictures up, not pictures, videos up on the on the, uh, on the old the YouTube. But I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like if you did enjoy this review, and I'll catch you in my prediction video.